I'm going to take you back to yesterday where Joe Ito was talking about um, innovation and network effects. And he asked us the question effectively of can we design things in such a way that users can use them, they can use them in unexpected ways, in ways that we didn't anticipate, and do this while the network continues to work. So I think this philosophy, this idea, goes a lot into what I'm going to talk about with the iCampus Prize. A little bit about MIT. Um, we have a culture here where the students are empowered to do lots of things. The students are empowered to solve their own problems, to find, find solutions to what they need to do here at MIT with their student life and their student learning. And this is something we hope they take with them out into the world at large. Along with that empowerment comes along the idea of innovation. So we want them to solve these problems. We want them to, to find, find solutions to things that um, cause them issues here at MIT and then also the world at large. And what I'm going to do is walk you through three of the, um, two or three of the uh, submissions for the iCampus Prize. It's a student competition open to undergraduates and graduate students here at MIT. We ask them to, to submit something, anything, that addresses a need that they see here for themselves, for their peers on campus, whether it be for something that would help them with their coursework, with um, how the things work in their dorms. So here at MIT, the dorms um, are independent units. They're run by student committees. And they have a whole lot of autonomy in how they do things. So what, what problems do they face? Here's one of them. How do I arrange my class schedule? So back in the day when I was, when I was at Berkeley uh, going through my undergraduate and graduate school, I, I would have to go through the course catalog, the, the, the schedule of classes, and figure out, oh, these are all the classes I want to take. And then, OK, so I want to take these five classes. And then how do I mix and match them to, to put them all together? MIT students had sort of the same thing. What we see here is a screenshot of one of the winners of the iCampus Prize. Some students here at MIT originally started off screen scraping this data out of department websites, our schedule of classes, pulling it all together. But they built for themselves an interface that allows them to schedule their own classes, to arrange their own course schedules. We didn't get involved in doing any of this. They did this all themselves. They saw a need. They, they found, found a solution to that problem. They went about doing that. And a couple pieces of information, this is not something we support directly in our LMS. And so it's not something that, that we were already providing them. It's turned out to have spawned a, um, an ecosystem. There are other students who have said, OK, so this is fine, this works. But you know, it doesn't really work for me. So now that we have a service that provides this course scheduling data, they've gone off and they've built different iterations of this to, to try and solve their own needs. Another problem. So I'm an undergraduate student in biology. I want to do a research in internship. So I want to do some research while I'm here at school or maybe when I go home um, for the summer and I want to spend some time working in a, in a research lab. How do I go about doing that? A set of students here had this exact same problem. The way you typically do it is you go to each and every lab's homepage. You see if they've got a research opportunity. Some departments might list them. Some organizations, um, National Institutes of Health, might, might pull together some of these. But you have to do it at every university, everywhere, to, to, to go about solving this problem. This group of students submitted this year. They didn't win. Um, but we're working with them, talking with them about how they can take this idea and then take it to the next level. Next problem, how do I plan my course schedule over my entire career? So I talked a little bit about an ecosystem before. So what we see here is a view of one student trying to put together his class schedule and drawing all, and the system draws all relationships be between classes, between prerequisites, co-requisites, and allows them to pull everything together. So I told you about all of these different pieces of these projects that our students have worked on. It's all because we have a culture of innovation here at MIT that supports this. We have networks and services that support this that enable them to do all of these things. So we allow our students to solve their own problems in their own ways. They, they propose it as, as part of this competition. She's doing things behind me, isn't she? Um, do this as part of this competition. And, and then we work with them afterwards to say, OK, so this is kind of our needs analysis. So how do we take this and make this a service? And so this, this sort of is my last slide, but my real last slide is this one. <laughs> and it's a good thing that I'm done. Thank you. 